Welcome, everybody. And I just want to say, is it OK if I take my mask off? I don't want to confuse anybody, but I want to be respectful for everything. Can you hear all right? Um, well, thanks for coming. This feels pretty good, doesn't it? Like, we made it. We made it back to Pack Expo. We should feel pretty good about that, right? Let's, let's give ourselves a little round of applause. We made it through the worst, I think, right? It can't get much worse, right? Whew. Well, thanks, everybody, for coming. I'm excited to be up here talking to everybody about flexible packaging. I mean, I could do that all day, every day. So I'm glad more people want to hear me than normal, which is positive. My wife gets very sick of hearing me talk about it. So um, I'm going to talk about how we've helped some of our customers combat the food waste challenge that we've had. So I'm Evan Arnold. I work for Glenroy Incorporated. We are a third generation family owned flexible packaging converter. And our purpose as an organization is to deliver sustainable solutions to serve the next generation. And I can tell you that warms my heart because it's something that I really want to be a part of. So I'm going to talk to you about how we've helped customers get there, what the challenges that we face, and some new innovations that we have coming. So first off, what is the challenge that we have here? Well, right now, over 20% of the material in our landfills is food waste. And that's rather shocking, considering that we produce so much food and so much goes in the garbage. And I want to highlight some other things here, too, that paperboard, glass, metals, and plastics, those first three are all fully recyclable, and they wind up in our trash. And plastics being 12% of it, I don't want to ignore the fact that I'm up here talking about plastics that make it into our landfill. It's a challenge we face. And as an industry, we need to face that head on. And I'm excited about that challenge. So what happens when we continue to put stuff into our landfills? Well, this creates methane. And methane can have a deterioration of our ozone layer. So again, looking at this, 12% of the methane emissions come from landfills. And we continue to fill those up. And I also want to highlight natural gas and petroleum is part of that. So I don't want to step away and hide the fact that plastics are part of the challenge that we have here. And I'm excited to talk about how we have solutions for some of these. So how do we address this challenge? Well, this is some stats from the Environmental Protection Agency that really talk about reducing the waste at its source. So we need to curb the production of overproduction of food. And I'm excited to talk about how flexible packaging can help extend the shelf life of that food once you open it. So we've kind of found the solutions to keeping our food good on the store shelf, right? But now we need to address the challenge of when it's open and what we can do as a supplier to the industry to really make that a positive change. So something else on here that is interesting is these industrial uses. I was sitting down with a customer last week and they were talking about the waste that in their production of food and their waste and what they can do to take that waste and really find different ways to use it. So they were talking about making oils and compressing that food waste down to help with those challenges. And those are things that I find really exciting out there and things that we look at for our waste within our production on what we can do to help bypass and not have those things go into the landfills. So I'm going to take you through a couple case studies now on how we've helped our customers extend the shelf life of their foods once open. And first, this is a case study on guacamole. This is the avocado production over the last 20 years. It's absolutely skyrocketed. Three times the amount of avocados, which is great. I love avocados. They're healthy. My children love them for like a day or two at a time, and then they're on to the other thing. You know, I, if anybody knows how to keep your children eating the same thing, let me know. But uh, 7.1 million tons of avocados produced globally. It's, it's incredible. And for a product that has such a short shelf life, it's a real challenge. I mean, avocados really once pick last 10 days, and once you open them, eh, three days maybe? So how can we help with that? So traditionally, they're sold in glass jars and tubs. Or you make it at home, and you seal it with plastic wrap. And my wife makes a mean guacamole. 
And when we have friends over, typically I try to eat the guacamole before anybody shows up. But if they do show up, certainly by the end of the party, it's brown already. And we do all the things. We put the lemon juice on top. We keep the pit in there, right? But we still can't get it to really last much longer. I mean, I have this debate with my daughter every other day. Is the brown guacamole OK to eat? I tell her it is, because we got to get rid of the avocados. But I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you, do you eat it or no, right? No. And that's a bummer. So I'm thinking three to four days once open, maybe, maybe. So what if there was a solution here? So our customer came and asked us to help them develop, develop a package to extend the shelf life of their avocados and their guacamole products once it's open. And that's the key here, because we can keep it fresh once it's open. So our goal was to extend the packaging to improve the functionality of it, and also at the same time give them the opportunity to deliver their product in a new and exciting way. This was no easy task. We developed and tested many different styles of packages, fitment pouches to single serve, and I mean, we've had those singles, right? Everybody's had those singles, and there's no way that's enough avocado in one serving, so you're eating two or three of those at a time. So we needed to not only do that, but we developed the StanCap pouch. And what this does is this keeps their products good for 10 to 14 days once opened. And what we found is the oxygen is the biggest deterrent to make it go brown. So we have a tamper evident ring within this that once opened, there's almost zero oxygen that comes through the package. This closure has a silicone valve that just dispenses the exact amount of guacamole or avocado needed. And this stays fresh in your fridge for up to 10 days. And I can tell you it lasts quite a bit longer than that. I'm eating this longer than that if it's around the house. But we extended the shelf life of their product, not only for their only avocado, but also for their guacamole, up to 14 days. This can have a dramatic impact on limiting the food waste challenge, allowing you to eat the product longer once open. So I want to go back to some of those first slides. So I'm up here hawking plastics, right? But I want to be totally open here that this is some data from PTIS and the Compass software looking at the life cycle analysis of a flexible package versus rigid counterparts. And there's some exciting news. So while we're still packaging it in plastic, we're using way less plastic than in a rigid or tube option. So we're using less greenhouse gas emissions to create the product. It weighs less, it ships less, and even if it goes in the landfill, it's about a third of what any of the tubs and jars are out there. So we, again, need to face this plastic waste challenge head on and look at it for what it is. So this was an exciting thing to not only help our customer extend the shelf life of their product, but help them reduce the amount of plastic that is used to package that product. So next, I'm going to move on to another case study that we have, and this one was on chocolate. I don't know if anybody's really aware, but Amazon, in your standard uh, foil wrapped chocolate bars, they will not ship that in summertime because it'll melt and spoil and get to the customer. When I open my Amazon package, the last thing I want to see is a bunch of melted chocolate. But in a world of COVID, I still need my chocolate and I really need it to come shipped to me, right? So our customer said we needed to have this where it could be melted and um, back to solid and not lose any flavor. They needed to be used behind the kitchen in a store heater, along with being able to ship to the customer. And we needed something that had good barrier and oxygen and moisture protection. So again, we had to look at this head on. And so we developed two different packages for them. This one fitment pouch here that not only doubles as their kitchen, so when you get a really nice dessert like we all will this week with some chocolate, it most likely comes out of a heating unit packaged with this chocolate. And then we also delivered an on-the-go foil wrap package so that people can consume and use this on the go. So if anybody wants to try it, we are giving out free chocolate samples here. I mean, let's be honest. It's really, really good chocolate. Um, uh, we'll pass it around. Um, so when we got done with this, not only did it keep 
the chocolate good through all of the heating and cooling, but we also got an Amazon exemption for this to be shipped year round so they can continue to deliver their products to their customer through flexible packaging. And last case study I'm gonna look at is in the snacking category. I know over the last year I did a lot of snacking, let's be perfectly honest here, and one of my favorites is nuts. So this is looking at macadamia nuts. Typically a higher end, very, um, they could spoil easily with moisture and oxygen. And typically these macadamia nuts are sold in glass jars or tubs that offer zero barrier protection. So they came to us and said, we're launching a new roasted nut. We need it to be able to ship better because those glass jars are really hard to ship. We want more product within that and it's got to extend the shelf life of the product. So we worked with them to develop a stand-up metalized high barrier pouch that allows their roasted macadamia nuts to be within the package. They can also throw the key in there. They can get more to the customer with way less shipping than they could in any of their other rigid counterparts. And it allows the product to continue to be fresh. This is a great, exciting project we got to work on. Now I want to go back to the first couple slides and talk about how we are facing the plastic challenge head on. So this pouch here, I just showed you, there's four layers of different kinds of plastic that allowed it to be a high barrier film, allows it to be dropped without breaking, and allows it to ship anywhere while also conserving the product. But it's not recyclable. So how can we change that? Well, I'm excited to announce today that we're launching our all polyethylene stand-up inverted pouch. So about four years ago, Colgate developed the all polyethylene toothpaste tube. And they wanted more innovation in this space. So they worked with the Association of Plastic Recyclers to develop a critical guidance that says if you follow these guidance rules, your tube can be curbside recyclable as well. So we engineered these pouches to fit within that critical guidance, and it's off for testing right now as we speak for the certification of curbside recycling for this flexible package. This is really exciting. So not only are we keeping the barrier of the product, we're keeping the product easy to use, but we're reducing the amount of plastic, and we're working towards making this as recyclable as possible. We are also launching this version with PCR content so that we can increase the circularity of the plastics world here. And I believe that this can really not only help reduce the amount of plastic out there, but really drive towards recyclability within this environment. So all of these products are part of our sustainability platform, True Renew. We have many mono material, roll stock and stand up pouches that can help you achieve your sustainability goals. We have PCR options which continue the circularity and now we're working towards the curbside recyclability of the stand cap pouch. So I'm excited to announce the True Renew line by Glenroy and we're here to help and help anybody kind of solve their challenges by moving to sustainable films along with increasing the shelf life of their package. So Thank you for coming. Please come visit our booth. And if anybody has any questions or would like any more chocolate, let me know. I, I got you covered on each front.